All right, so I want to know about your vehicle, your boat, might, might I say. Yes, yes. Uh, what was it like driving that? And tell me about filming those uh, action scenes that you did in the car. That car is like, it's got a lot of play in the steering wheel. And like when you just barely move it, the whole boat, it's, it, it's a boat. It, it goes, right? So you got to be one with the car. Okay. And I believe Brando and I, we were one. All right. And how was filming those action scenes like? It was awesome. It was fun, exhilarating, and hot. Okay. Now, when you started uh, working on this film, were you in transition from Good Luck Charlie? Were you still working we on Good Luck Charlie? started talks of um, this film towards the end of Good Luck Charlie. Okay. And then by the time Good Luck Charlie wrapped, then we started meetings and getting to business. And what is it about this movie that made you want to be a producer as well as, as an actor for it? Well, the main thing is that because it was Disney Channel's first movie with really an adult as a co-lead, um, I wanted some control with how the direction that that took. Okay. Because oftentimes in children's programming, it's, it's easy to like forget about the adult and leave them in the lurch, right? And so I knew if I'm executive producer, what are they gonna do, right? So um, I just wanted to protect the role and also protect my vision of the script and, and see what it would be like to build something from the ground up with my stamp on it. Okay. And yesterday you had mentioned this is not a typical Disney movie. Uh, it actually caters for everyone. So if this was the birth child of any two feature films out there, what would they be? Oh, I would say uh, The Heat okay. and, hmm, that's a, that's, a, that's a good question. I'm trying to think of what the second one would be. I'll tell you this, I think it is like a family-friendly teenage version of The Heat.